Quick question, why not use the smartphone light? Quick answer, with a clip-on lens, that doesn't work. Why not use one of those? Because they're useless, they're simply not bright enough. Okay, so why not use one of those? Those are brighter, true, but they also have a tendency to block the front camera or your connectors. And in any case, they always block the freaking screen. So how about this one? It's small, lightweight, has a built-in battery and really packs some kick. Yeah, but you kind of have to use it with a smartphone grip, you have to mount it and unmount it, carry extra gear, it's just too much of a hassle. No, it's not. This is the LED light, Aperture Amaran ALM9. Let's check out what's in the box. Nice case. Uh, this is the little LED light itself. You can take this diffuser off. I'll put it back on. It's held in place via magnets. The whole thing is pretty lightweight, very small. It has a DC input right here, which you can use to run this off the grid or via a power bank. But it also comes with a built-in battery that'll last you about 60 to 70 minutes if you use it on full blast. Here's the on and off switch and it comes with 10 levels of brightness. Excellent little LED light. But there's some more right here. Another diffuser orange and blue. This works really simple. You take this off, you put the orange in and it goes back on. Somewhat cheap to do it this way, but it's a nice touch and appreciate it. Quick LED light test. This is what you're getting from just the phone. And for your information, I'm also currently using a 0.6 wide angle converter lens. I'm now gonna turn on the light without the plastic diffuser or anything else for that matter on it. So now we're going from no light to light at full brightness. That is it and it is quite a difference. Now I'm gonna use both diffusers, but I'm not expecting much of a difference in terms of smoothness of lighting because the bigger a diffuser is, the more an effect it has on the smoothness of the lighting. Whereas this much doesn't do anything, to be honest. What it will do probably is reduce the brightness of the lights a little. So if you're not used to talking to a camera with lights nearby and you might end up looking like this, this is gonna help that a little. And as I thought, not much of a difference. Let's combine them both. And once again, doesn't really do anything for us. Let's move on to the colored filters. Orange first. This is gonna give you a warmer look. Depending on your skin tone, this can really benefit you. Me personally, for example, I'm pretty pale. That's why I choose to wear light tones when it comes to what I wear, because in comparison, my skin looks darker. So let's see how much of a difference that brings. Of course, if you already got perfect skin or a nice skin tone, you might end up being too yellow using something like this. It's personal preference, always check back with what you're shooting. Yeah, it's a warmer look for me and I think it's a look that benefits me because I am rather pale. And now I'm gonna use the blue one. If you want a cool look, this is probably what you will be going for. For my skin tone type, not very beneficial or not the kind of look I would choose if I wanted to look my best. If the story or whatever required me to look a certain way, maybe this would be more beneficial thematically than the orange one. Now I'm gonna remove the blue one, going back to regular diffusion, which is the way most people probably are gonna use this light. A charging cable, standard USB, to micro USB. The mount that we're not gonna use, but that is a pretty versatile and awesome mount. More on that in another video. Next, magnetic dashboard car mount. Then say this is your smartphone case. Remove the cover and place this magnetic plate about here. So it sits just like this. And I'll place this one, not exactly in the middle, but like this. Because this way you will still be able to apply the mount here and here. Whereas if you put this exactly in the middle, the mount wouldn't fit. And that's already it. Phone goes back in the case, of course. And then light goes on the phone and you're done. And should you know for sure that you're not gonna need the mount, you can leave this at home. Store the light in the front pocket right here. 
which then leaves you with some additional space right there for carrying some extra power. Simple in, simple out, battery status indication and 5200 mAh at your service at any time to be exact. So power bank goes right here and you're all set to go. So, if you liked the video, if you found it helpful, please make sure to leave a thumbs up, it's greatly appreciated. Any kind of comment or feedback is welcome and I'll try to answer as quickly as possible. All the tech that I've used in this video is linked in the description. As always, thank you so much for your time, thank you for watching and hopefully see you again soon.